everybody and welcome back and thanks for being here and happy 4th of July. I know I'm just a bit early, but I've only got a little more time to say that as often as I can work it into the program. It's Thursday the 3rd and it's been gorgeous and it's going to be gorgeous throughout the rest of your Independence Day weekend. There is some heat to come in our forecast and we'll talk about some other weather related events that are affecting some plans. 4th of July and vacation in other parts of the East Coast. Locally, developments just earlier this afternoon in regards to the appeal filed with the Kentucky Court of Appeals by Gotham County Judge Executive Charles Harden. I'll tell you what they were and outline where that case or situation is at this hour. We'll also talk to a seasoned fireman, a fire chief and veteran firefighter who says that yesterday's fire of a Floyd County business was one of the worst he's ever seen and he spent a great deal of time not just in Floyd County, but also as a fireman in Lexington, Kentucky as well. Fourth of July events and all sorts of bits of information and headlines to get to you before I leave you for the holiday. The union that employs more than 200 people throughout the Highlands Regional Medical Center over in Floyd County held a press conference earlier today at 3.30. We hope to have a continuing report for you next week as we'll be off tomorrow. However, I did speak with a member of that union just prior to the press conference who says they've been negotiating with the facility now for quite some time. Their three-year contract is up for renewal, and they say that they are threatening or considering a strike, if you will, over the request of the contract including on behalf of the hospital taking spouses off of the insurance policies for those within the union also having a deductible on their insurance policies of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars and also no raise to be included in the first year of that three-year contract and what they said was to be only a half a percentage raise for the next two years this they say the hospital in an effort to try to save 1.5 million dollars in insurance fees now, the union, as I am told by that member, does include about 214 approximately employees within the Highlands Regional Medical Center. They say if it's not settled by July the 9th, they will be giving a 10-day strike notice. The McGoffin County Rescue Squad has some quarterly numbers in for me just to let you know how hard they have had to work and how much the nonprofit organization has been out there and how... On a re related note, I'll remind you about their captain being honored this weekend during the 4th of July festivities coming up in just a few moments. But in all, it appears as though and not unusual that vehicle accidents were the most significant number of incident reports that they had. A total of 55 incident reports over the past quarter, 20 of those auto accidents, 11 of those with medical assistance, 55 total incidents, all spent 2,450 man hours on those calls. They've also matched another 120 hours of training during that quarter. Business in Prestonsburg yesterday, 13 different fire departments, as many as 80 or possibly even more fire personnel on scene. It was after employees reported the fire at Worldwide Equipment in Prestonsburg in the middle of the afternoon. It was through that effort that they attempted to save the structure, but to no avail. Prestonsburg Fire Department Chief Bobby Carpenter says that his department responded after the initial agency, the Cow Creek Fire Department, immediately requested mutual aid. He says that there were several factors that made this a very hard to fight fire. The size of the facility, the many remodels over the year, and access to plenty of water for such an enormous blaze. But the specific cause has not been determined yet, but it looks like the fire started in the ceiling area. Uh, between the first and second floors uh, of the parks department of uh, worldwide equipment uh, with quick involvement of the attic and roof uh, area of the structure. Uh, when we arrived, we had uh, heavy smoke uh, under pressure, uh, obvious uh, fire uh, in, in a building that was built in the 50s and uh, been remodeled several times, several layers of roofs, several void spaces and so forth. We, we had a fire that, uh, despite our best efforts at interior firefighting operations, we just couldn't get water to, to the seat of the fire. Uh, as the situation progressed, uh, it just became too dangerous for interior structure fighting, and uh, the inter internal crews were evacuated, and it basically became a defensive operation uh, at that point. Uh, water supply was a major issue. The building was so large with its fire load and so forth, we're taking approximately 5,000 gallon of water a minute to control that, that, that size of a fire. Uh, fire hydrants in the area was capable of producing 
about 1,500 gallons a minute, and we set up with uh, the aid of other fire departments in the county. Uh, we set up a water shuttle from different water mains, and so it worked at the scene, and I think at the peak we were, we were able to put about 2,500 gallons of water a minute on the fire. Carpenter ranks that fire easily the second worst in the history of the Prestonsburg Fire Department on a commercial basis, that is. And as I mentioned earlier in his tenure in the Lexington area, and easily in the top 10 that he had seen personally. 13 departments, 80 personnel, give or take. As far as the cause, he says it is still under investigation. It's believed, as you heard him say, to have happened in the attic space. No foul play is suspected at this time. Carpenter was gracious enough to pull over as he was traveling and give us that telephone interview just earlier this afternoon. So a little bit of audio problem with call dropping out just here and there. But nevertheless, it's a fire that remains under investigation at this hour and one that, of course, has been a significant loss to the worldwide equipment company and family. I'll have today's developments in regards to the appeal filed by McGoffin County Judge Executive Dr. Charles Harden in relation to the recount in McGoffin County after this break. Justin at Premier Auto at used prices at 2012 GMC Terrain SLE 23950. The ever popular Kia Optima this 2013 is 19950. A 2014 Chevy Captiva loaded. 24950 and check it out an 85 Elko custom slick straight and rare all baby inspected and baby approved at Premier Auto in Paintsville Regardless of where you want to ride, you could be riding on a brand new Kawasaki or Polaris for less at M&M Power Sports in Staffordsville. New Kawasaki's for the dirt, the street, or both, and ATVs and side-by-sides for every stage of enthusiasts to fish, hunt, call, or play. And with rebates up to $1,300 and financing as low as 3.99%, it's never been easier to ride it, buy it, and start your next adventure at Kentucky's Power Sports Authority since 1964, M&M Power Sports. It's back, and it's here through July the 10th at your Sagersville Lee's Famous Recipe, free chicken. That's right, you get free chicken, two legs and two thighs free with every eight-piece box of chicken. Three legs, three thighs with every 12-piece box of chicken. Four and four with a 16-piece box, and five legs and five thighs with every 20-piece box of chicken. That's a family meal deal or a box of chicken. You get free chicken now through July the 10th and only at your Sagersville Lee's Famous Recipe. Faster, friendlier, family-owned Parkway Pharmacy open 8.30 till 6.30 Monday through Friday in the new McGoffin Medical Plaza under the care of local pharmacist Jesse Rudd. To make Parkway Pharmacy your pharmacy, come by or give us a call at 349-4400. Have you ever noticed how many insurance commercials and advertisements are on television nowadays? You can't watch your favorite program without seeing a little pig or green lizard trying to sell you insurance and get your money for their premiums. But let me ask you this, if you have been in a serious wreck, do you really think that you are in good hands of the insurance companies when you have lost wages, medical bills, and pain and suffering from your head to your toes? The answer is no. If you want to truly be in good hands, give me a call. I'm attorney Donald Wayne McFarland. Let me put my 20 years of experience in working to protect the rights of injured people to work for you. 349-9000. Sagersville National lets you go mobile with their new banking app. That's right, you can view your account and balance, transfer money, pay bills, and yes, deposit checks right from your phone from wherever you are. Just download the Sagersville National Bank app on your Android, iPad, iPhone, or other device. Any phone that can connect to the Internet has the capability, and you can start saving time and money today with Sagersville National Bank's new mobile app. Wherever you are, we're there for you at Sagersville National Bank. Wheel alignments, oil changes, brakes, suspension work, and tires. Thousands of tires by all the major manufacturers, all in stock and at incomparable prices. All backed with 33 years of service and experience, the area's largest tire selection, and six months no interest at Conley's in Paintsville. They truly are the latest developments in regards to the appeal filed by McGoffin County Judge Executive Dr. Charles Harden. I spoke with a clerk within the Kentucky Court of Appeals just earlier this afternoon, and she had just finished filing an order setting briefing schedules for both sides of the appeal. In fact, both of the candidates, if you will, H.B. Arnett and Charles Harden, will probably, she said, not even be notified officially by mail or through their attorney until Monday. But we do know that they have given orders setting 
briefing schedules for both sides. Per that conversation with the clerk representing the Kentucky State Court of Appeals earlier today, it's my understanding that upon filing those orders, setting briefing schedules, that those orders will be forwarded on to both sides, that of Harden, that of Arnett, that of their respective legal counsel. They will have 10 days upon receipt of those orders, which is expected to be Monday, to respond with their briefs. That calendar-wise puts it until about the 14th day of this month that they have in order to submit their briefs to the Kentucky Court of Appeals. This after the recount before the Honorable Kim Childers in McGoffin County on the 13th day of June, of which the outcome we have covered on numerous times. Now, once those briefs have been sent into the Kentucky Court of Appeals, they will be forwarded to the judges. They will then review them and make their respective decision based on those briefings as well as all the information that was provided to them that was collected throughout the recount process itself here in McGoffin County in front of Judge Childers. The clerk I spoke to also reaffirmed what we had already been told is the fact that they do understand that this is a time-sensitive case and that their ruling will be expedited in a much quicker manner than the normal one to one and a half years for a case to be brought before the Kentucky Court of Appeals. I'll be calling back on the 14th or 15th to find out if there is any verdict as of then, and I'll have an update at that time. I've got a whole lot of other news coming up and some entertainment and entertainment-related news ah, in the last third of our program. But for now, let's see what's happening on this Thursday's McGoffin County Farm Bureau-sponsored Community Calendar Announcements. Starting off with birthday wishes for Matthew Turner, whose birthday is on the 4th of July. Love Mom, Dad, and Brady. Happy, happy 14th birthday to Matthew Turner. Happy birthday, Orville Shepard. 60 today. From wife, kids, grandkids, friends, and family. Happy birthday, Orville. That's a big one. Happy birthday to Jordan Ross Helton celebrating his 20th on the 4th. From Nan, family, and friends, happy birthday, Jordan. I've got a happy birthday wish to Kathy Brown with a whole lot of friends and family and a whole lot of folks at McGoffin Manor Apartments. Happy birthday to you, Kathy. A happy birthday to Jeffrey Michael Horton. It's a belated birthday. He is now 26 and a few days old, I'm told. Happy birthday from friends and family and a whole lot of loved ones. And happy birthday, one and all. A reminder, there won't be any picking or grinning at the Kearney Free Will Baptist Church this weekend due to the 4th of July, but they will be selling funnel cakes and fried Oreos, deep fried Oreos, in front of B&B Tobacco tomorrow. And next week, those of you who vote in District 1, the McGoffin County Wide Cleanup starts for you all week, Monday through Friday of next week. Call the judge's office, office if you have any questions. Also, Vacation Bible School at the Hope and the Cross Community Church all next week, 6 to 8.30 nightly. They're on Parkway Drive. We've got a bunch of announcements for next week, like a reminder about the Blood drive on Wednesday. I'll get to that next week. We've got a rabies clinic in McGoffin County coming up. Tell you about that, too. Also, we'll be talking about, I want to remind you that the McGoffin County Senior Citizen Center opens back up this Monday after being incapacitated after that storm, of course, hit the community center and the Senior Citizen Center. We'll talk about all that maybe a little more next week for now. This is just a quick reminder how you get announcements on the program for free, and then everyone else knows who you want to wish a happy birthday or anniversary to or what kind of event your organization has planned. You can be playing, relaxing, and enjoying your brand new lifestyle in just days with one call to Baker's Pool Supply. Over 38 years of professional installation at affordable prices on above ground and in ground swimming pools. Or if you're ready to open your pool for the season, you need a new liner, a solar cover, some parts, or the best in BioGuard chemicals or salts, Baker's is your full service answer, serving all of Kentucky and surrounding states with complete satisfaction. And they offer financing. 800 633 7102 or Baker's Pool Supply. Remember when they invented the peanut butter cup? Bringing peanut butter and chocolate together. Pure genius. Well, the Sonneman Duro has done the same thing for wireless. Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you'll find the tough, dependable Sonneman Duro. This flip phone is great for the job or weekend warrior, but you can also access the internet and take great pictures with a two megapixel camera. Get it now, the best of both worlds, just like the peanut butter cup. Appalachian Wireless, better service, bigger savings. 
as we celebrate our independence as a nation and those who have fought so bravely to defend it, we also want to wish you a safe and joyous 4th of July. From everyone at Sagersville Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, where maintaining a loved one's independence or providing them with long-term nursing care needs are always done with a standard of excellence and a tradition of caring. At the end of every race, Mark Martin hangs up his driving lights. He hangs up his fire suit. And he hangs up his helmet. Which is why he picks up his phone and opens the ER Extra app. The app shows ER Extra wait times, locations, and more. It's the one safeguard Mark Martin is never without. ER Extra at Paul B. Hall Regional Medical Center. Extra fast, extra easy, extra great. Got company coming? Looking to visit Sagersville and family or just get away? Then come stay with us in one of two newly restored and uniquely appointed lofts over downtown, filled with history throughout. With a luxurious touch, king beds, free Wi-Fi, HD TV, and enough comfort to sleep one to ten guests, book your stay at the Mortimer Lofts by emailing toreachsue at yahoo.com, find them on Facebook, or call 349-3299. Your teams must go immediately. It's Hot Chevrolet's triple, triple bonus employee pricing. That means for a limited time, buy any new 2014 GM vehicle at Hot Employee Pricing. Plus one, you get to keep the rebates. Two, a free family beach vacation. And three, get two years free maintenance. Tri triple bonus employee pricing. Only at Hot Chevrolet Buick GMC in Paintsville, Kentucky. Or at HutchChevrolet.com. Enjoy your fun in the summer sun even more with festive settings of the season from the seasonal shop that look good enough to eat themselves. Monogrammed and summer flags of every shape, size, and shade of summer and other ways to say welcome, friends. And just in, new and already classic designs by Ethel and Myrtle, ladies, all at Fraser's Prater Drug Seasonal Shop, just down from the drugstore and the radio shack. Frito Rocks is more than just gravel. They've got mulch in red, brown, and black. River Rock in four different sizes. New Rainbow Rock for an entirely new landscape feature. Metal and double wall plastic pipe, masonry sand, and rock. Every size from DGA to 57s to Class 2 and 3. And they have delivery and excavation and dozer services. And special hours Monday through Friday, 4.30 till 9 p.m. And Saturdays, 9 till 4. For orders, call Frito Rocks on Route 7 at 496-7776. And one last time, as the official 4th of July festivities have begun all across the viewing and surrounding area, Morgan County having a great deal of most all of their festivities this evening, including their fireworks. Sagersville's 4th of July is fully underway now with the firecracker pageants beginning at 6 o'clock this evening. And we've still got, of course, a long way to go. So we've covered this evening's schedule. Tomorrow, big evening in the Ramey Park in Sagersville, the Watermelon Social. Free melon for everybody. Beautiful evening. I mean, just gorgeous. You're going to have Turning Ground down there playing for you live. Their new CD plus some tracks, I'm sure, off the first one. And a few surprises. You just never know what they're going to pull out of their bag of tricks or talent. They'll start playing right around 7 o'clock. Bring your blanket. Bring your chair. Bring yourself. Bring your friends. And just come on down and relax. It's hard to find time to do that. Should be a great time for everybody. Saturday here in McGoffin County, the parade starts at 1. They'll start lining up at noon. We've already covered that as well. Just a quick reminder, 3 o'clock, the Sagers Renaissance Program will be having their Lifetime Achievement Awards. They'll be honoring McGoffin County Rescue Squad Captain Carter Conley, who, of course, along with our Sagers Fire Chief Paul Howard, began the Rescue Squad more than a few years ago. And, of course, he's been at the helm of the agency uh, for nearly as long uh, and a big part of community and the life-saving efforts throughout the rescue squad. He'll be recognized for those accomplishments and his dedication at 3 o'clock after the parade. And then fireworks will be going off from the Ramey Park. One more reminder, Saturday night right around dark. So get in, get down in the park or close by, and we hope you'll enjoy the show. Before I put you in a foot-tapping note to leave you this Thursday evening, we'll have to cover the weather forecast. Briefly, weather elsewhere. This is a way-out look at the radar as Hurricane Arthur is going to cancel some shows along the East Coast. 
And uh, bearing down in North Carolina, Hurricane Arthur, yeah, hurricane as of this morning is picking up strength. Category 1 this morning, expected to grow to a Category 2 with winds of 105 miles per hour before grazing the coast. And then it should start to weaken as it heads on off and makes its way to the north. The National Hurricane Center says it's expected to bring storm surges up to 5 feet, as well as large damaging waves, high winds, and dangerous rip currents that their warning could sweep even the strongest swimmers out to sea. Carolina's not necessarily a great vacation point for the 4th of July. A lot of shows being canceled, that being fireworks displays and the like, in lieu of Arthur running the 4th of July for a whole lot of folks. But Arthur, nor anything else for that matter, is going to put a dent in the beautiful weather we're going to have for the 4th of July. I mean, it's rare that you have humidity levels down, temperatures down, and nothing coming down in the form of showers or thunderstorms. It's just going to be perfect. Tonight we'll see partly cloudy skies, a northwest wind that's been out there most of the evening. It's around 6 miles per hour right now, becoming calm over the course of the night, and a low of right around 56 degrees. No complaints. That's, uh, you know, about 10 degrees off the mark from some of the past few nights. And tomorrow, we may not see 80 degrees for your 4th of July. Independence Day looks to be 78 and a low close to the 40s tomorrow night. Uh, it's just going to be nice. If, if there ever was a good time for your air conditioning to be off, uh, like maybe someone here speaking from personal experience, now would be it. Gorgeous on your Friday, maybe 78, 79 degrees. Saturday, just a tad bit warmer, but still very comfortable. Sunny, 83. We'll see 56 still in the 50s for nighttime lows. Mostly clear skies start to finish. And we'll finish your hopefully three-day weekend on Sunday with sunny skies. Temperatures itching up just a bit. I think we'll see full-blown sunshine, 87 above. We'll fall back into the low 60s for nighttime lows. And that cooler air will be gone. We may see a record or two fall over the course of the weekend and all this cool air. Then we'll start to get back to where, well, we should be next week. Monday, right on Q4, the work week to get started. Mostly sunny, 88. Humidity will start to go back up. We'll see mid and upper 80s throughout most all of next week. And guess what comes back with it? That pesky chance of showers and thunderstorms to go right alongside. We'll even see some clouds as well. Mostly during evening and nighttime hours through at least midweek and some sunshine during the day. But mid and upper 80s are making a return after we celebrate our 238th birthday as a nation. Now as I've done for the past couple of nights, I'm going to close up shop with another track off Turning Ground's newest and second CD. A few folks that I've spoken to, even a couple of members of the band, are all in agreement that their first CD was very good. Something to be very proud of and a great success for the group. The second one even surpasses that. Each and every track is one that you just want to go back and listen to over and over again. And if you want to do it live, as I said a few moments ago, you can venture on down to the Remy Park tomorrow night for a free concert in the park with a lot of free watermelon as well. But to wrap up this evening's program and that for this week, I want to say one more time, happy 4th of July. We hope you have a safe and joyous Independence Day. And we'll leave you with Cell of Mind, title track off of their new album. Good night, everybody. And, and you know what, due to my somewhat, I don't know if somewhat's the right term, that's a little modest, due to my poor mathematics skills, I've got a little more time than what I thought, so we'll listen to Sale of Mine title track, number two on the CD, and I've got time to work another one in. I'll be figuring out what I'm going to play. You enjoy this. Turning Ground, Sale of Mine. You can Will they lock me up in the county jail?
Well, they won't give me no phone call. Got me locked up like an old hound dog. Said things are better left alone. Now you've lost everything you own. Said I should have thought what I'd done. Oh, loaded up my gun. Put them under an old tube saw. Put a rod in the cell alone. Giving my time in this cell of mine. And lastly, I tossed a coin, came up with number eight. This is Lay Me Down. One more time, this is the five men known as Nathan Arnett, guitar and lead vocals, Jonathan Arnett, mandolin, baritone and lead vocals, Ralph Adams, tenor and lead vocals, Mike Daniels on the banjo, and Chad Gilbert on the bass. Hope to see you enjoying a little TG tomorrow night in the RP Turning Ground, Remy Park. Get it? They'll be out there in a wonderful, wonderful venue, wonderful evening weather-wise, and some wonderful entertainment and a whole lot of watermelon. We hope to see you then. And one more time, hope you have a happy and safe 4th of July. <laughs> This old world Not gonna last here forever And this earthly body Is gonna soon wear down There's a master in heaven Who watches over me I got my name in the land Book of life, I've been set free. When they lay me down, close my eyes to sleep, and you gather around me. Don't weep for me, I'm on my way home. I've got a brand new song. So long This world's heartaches and pain I've received my ticket On that heavenly train If you want to see me You better call on him Cause he's the only way for he's the truth and the life, oh my friend. When they lay me down, close my eyes to sleep, and you gather around me, don't weep for me.